Hello and welcome. Um, I'm just going to do a little clip. We're going to do a runner clips, actually, because um, I get asked loads of questions on using the good old gel plate. Um, I love this product and there's a whole heap of different techniques for it. We're going to start off really easy, really basic. So first of all, just covering um, some basics with your gel plate. Um, so I'm taking my gel plate. Now you get lots of different sizing gel plates. Um, I like this size because obviously it's, it's nice and easy to use. I am using um, a very dirty plate. This is one of your plates um, <laughs> from Clarity. Mine is filthy, but it's really handy because it does allow me to put uh, pick the gel plate up and move it around when I'm not using it. It also means I can lift the gel plate and stamp with it if I want to. So it gives you lots of different um, lots of different uses. You don't have to have a plate. You can put your gel plate directly onto a glass mat or maybe a heat resistant craft mat. Um, so don't worry if you haven't got a plate. But if you want one, it does make it easier. So have a look on Clarity. That is your mega amount. So what I'm going to do first of all, start from the beginning, let's do a dead easy print. Now loading up your gel plate, you need to make sure you don't use too much paint. This is a an absolute um, must because if you use too much paint, it does mean that it's um, you won't get a definite print. It'll be a bit sloppy and then your paint might fall off the edge. So I'm just going to do a couple of blobs of yellow and a couple of blobs of pink. Now, the paints I'm using today, um, I'm going to be mixing up my paints, but this is Viva Decor. They're both Viva Decor ones. Um, it's acrylic, so I'm using acrylics, but we'll touch on all the different things that you can use on your gel plate. I'm going for a really nice fluid paint because I want it to flow on my gel plate. So a couple of blobs of paint there, and then I'm using my speedball roller now. This isn't a black roller. This is actually, I think it might be cream or red, but it's filthy. It doesn't matter. It's absolutely fine. Again, if you want to clean yours, then that's fine. Mine's going to work. I know it's going to work. It'll probably give me a little bit of texture because it is a bit mucky, but I kind of like that. So all I'm going to do, first of all, let's just do a really quick and easy print. So literally moving that paint. Now, the easiest way of distributing your paint is just to zoom up and down onto your gel plate. What you don't want to do, and I'll show you, if you work it too much, can you see it starts lifting the paint off? So actually you can go a little bit too far with it. So don't work it too much. I always have some scrap card next to me and that's to actually clean my bra uh, brayer off. So literally I go onto my scrap card because this is the kind of thing I can use again. So I'm literally just going to do a print. So take my card and go onto my gel plate and just have a look what it creates. Now the card I'm using, this is stencil card from Clarity. Again, you can use a whole host of card um, and have a play, see what you've got in your stash. Now look, that's just a simple print. I love it already. All the colours have merged. So I've got a beautiful orange in there. I can see the beautiful pink. With something like that, I can overprint on it really simply. Let's do another one for you, just a quick, easy print. Let's mix up the colours this time. So this time, if I go for a lovely green, um, give it a shake. Sometimes your acrylics might separate. You do not want the slimy stuff. <laughs> There's probably a better word for it, but seeing as I don't know it, we're going with slimy stuff. You don't want that on your gel plate, so definitely give those a mix. I'm going for like a greeny, and I'm going for more of a golden this time. Now, as I said, there's loads of paints you can use. You can use inks, you can use your spritzers, um, so please have an experiment. Again, just allowing your brayer. Now, when you're doing this, it's really important not to put pressure. So allow it to smooth on. And can you see what I'm doing? I'm coming off the edge and then coming back on and letting it go off the edge. And it's really gentle. I'm hardly putting any pressure at all. So it's just allowing it just to smooth over the gel plate. And that's all you need to do. Again, I'm going to clean my brayer off on there. And that's where I'll put a bit more pressure to clean the brayer. Again, I use this. I absolutely use that. Now, that's going to give me a pretty print, but what about introducing maybe things you find around the home, like um, maybe the packaging, you know, that your gel plate comes in. Just squidge that down, lift it up, squidge it down again. 
And I love this because you will start experimenting with your gel plate. Again, there's paint already on there, so why not go over the top? This is your scrap, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this is horrible by the end of it, but it might be really cool. See, that's cool. And then lift your card again and pop that over the top. Now, when I put the card on, I do give it a good press down, and that's just making sure you get a really nice print. So lift that off. I lift it off nice and gentle, and you can see, look at that texture. And that is only your, your packaging, stuff that you put in the bin. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to show you throughout the, the series of these, we're going to have a look at some of the things you can do with these. Now, I'm going to do a bit of troubleshooting as well. So if, for instance, if you put too much paint on, and I'll show you this bit. So if you get a bit carried away, maybe you do this. It's funny, actually, because when I started using the gel plate, this is what I used to do all the time. So, you know, this, this is normal. So don't panic. So say you put tons of paint on, OK? And you'll be able to tell because when you start doing this, can you see how um, textured that paint is? Sometimes it'll actually flow off the end there. And you'll see now that is, you know, the paint is so thick. It's really thick on my brayer as well. My brayer, I'm still going to do my normal thing. Look, if when it comes on, it looks like that, you have got way too much paint on here. The way you, ch you actually rectify that, just keep going over with your brayer, getting rid of that paint. So what I'm physically doing now is lifting the paint off that gel plate. I'm getting rid of it onto my cardstock. So I'm not keep, I'm not just moving it, I'm physically lifting and getting it onto the, onto the, we don't do that. There you go, so just lifting it off, getting it off on my card. That looks really pretty on my card. Now I made a cool background, right? That's miles better. So you just go over until you don't see sort of um, rivers of paint and now just do another print. Okay, let me show you this. So that has given me a good, um, a good surface area, but look, I haven't got too much paint on there now. That looks really pretty. So that's how to get um, over that. The best thing, of course, is not putting too much paint on because you waste a lot of paint. You'll be going through your paint in a rate of knots. One more troubleshooting thing, and this is something that you might come across. Um, you can use different paper, you can use different card. You might want to use copier paper. Now, I'm not going to stick this to my my, um, my doodah, my gel plate. Um, so, with your brayer, so doing this, doodahs and what's it's. Don't think you have to go the same direction, you don't, mix it up. You know, and you will play with it, you'll play with the way you actually put your paints on. Now. Something you can do is obviously use copier paper, but when you're using copier paper, a really avoid, you know how we're putting on a lot of pressure with the cardstock, avoid that with copier paper. Because it's so lightweight, when you lift a print with copier paper, if you've put too much pressure on, that might stick to your gel plate. Whereas actually you can get a really decent print, which looks beautiful, doesn't it? But just be careful. With copier paper, I've seen people put too much pressure on. It gets stuck to your gel plate. Then when you peel it off, it um, sticks to your gel plate. It's not a big deal. If that happens, you can just pop that under the sink and that's it. It's cleaned. Now, that's really simple prints. That's your starting point. So not too much paint on there. Nice and gentle with your brayer. And then, of course, use your, your cardstock um, to create some beautiful prints and look so quick so easy but every time so individual okay this is the beginning of our journey with the gel plate uh, we've got lots more of these little clips so i hope you can tune in thank you <laughs>